Swanee County has no theme parks or beaches, but what it does have is some of the most beautiful woodlands you'll find anywhere. Spotted with palmettas, hardwoods, pines, cypress trees. These woodlands serve as a haven for wildlife. Wildlife such as deer, turkey, bobcats, squirrels, raccoons. Once upon a time, even the panther prowled in these woods. Dr. John Peacock purchased the area known as Peacock's Lou now back in 1875. He grazed cattle in the surrounding woods, practiced medicine, and would open his door for religious activities for the people in the community. Residents from nearby Lurville would find comfort and enjoyment in going down to Peacock Springs, swimming in the tranquil, clear, cold waters. These waters are now known throughout the world. They're a haven for scuba divers to come visit explore the caves and the caverns. The woods that surround the springs, they're just as tranquil, original, beautiful, and undisturbed today as they were during the days of Dr. Peacock. The spring flows to the Swanee River. There's a small run that goes between the head of the spring and the river, known as the run or the slough. The woodlands that surround it are beautiful. Palmetto lines the edge of the run with the various hardwood trees and then the cypress trees. It would remind somebody of perhaps the river swamps upriver even up in South Georgia around the Okefenoke Swamp. It's peaceful. Occasionally you can see a big largemouth bass jump. Several sinks are in the woods around Peacock Slough. One such sink is shown here as Olson Sink. The camera will never do justice to Olson Sink. While it looks even smaller than it is, it's a sizable water hole that contains clear, cold, blue water. The larger sink, which is also a second magnitude spring, is known as Orange Sink. It's beautiful rock walls that partially surround it adds to its magnificence. The cold, clear, blue crystal waters appear so tranquil. And around it is all natural. When you look down into the waters, you can see the rocks. A rock that might only be three feet underwater could appear to be right at the top of the water. While one that appears maybe three feet underwater might be 12, 15 feet below. These waters are sometimes misleading. Unfortunately, many people have been pulled from the waters that miscalculated their oxygen, miscalculated the exit of a cave. The woods around the sinks often fill up with water when the rivers and the springs flood. And then that water becomes trapped and stays. This is one of the most beautiful places that you'll visit. It's tranquil, it's enjoyable. It's just a slice of heaven that God gave us on earth. But we have to work together to ensure that it remains undisturbed, that the water stay pristine and our water supply remains abundant.